Hi guys, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make a really cool text effect in Adobe Photoshop CS3 or CS4. Um, this is basically uh, making an electric effect first then applying a sort of aquatic effect on it afterwards. Uh, well, I have two versions of it. This is the metallic one. The aquatic, I'll show you how to make that one. So, it's pretty simple. Just click File, New. Okay, here are some really important things. We're just going to call it uh, Cool Text. Yext, what's that? Text. Okay, set the width to a thousand. Set the height to a thousand pixels and color mode RGB color and 8-bit uh, and background contents what? if you take grayscale you will not be able to apply this so now click edit fill set the fill to take color and set it to what, uh, black excuse me and um, now uh, it will be all black so what we're going to do is take our text tool and what we're going to write is basically our name or whatever you want you want to write here and apply this effect to okay so uh, well I'm just going to write ff comp help ff and now take this move tool yeah the move tool that's what it's called and uh, just drag it down in the center or something and with the arrow keys you can move it just a bit to the right so that it fits perfectly on your screen okay now we have this uh, what we're going to do is right click this layer this is really important and duplicate it not the background and uh, now select the uh, bottom most FF comp help and take filler stylize wind and uh, well just click OK and uh, direction from the right and method wind. Now we'll see, look as it has been blown a bit uh, by the wind from the right. So now we're going to hold in CTRL F, uh, CTRL and F, CTRL and F. Okay, this will make it be more blown. So now take filler, stylize wind from the left. And it's going to be blown a bit from the left. CTRL F and CTRL F. Okay, just so that you know, this is my first Photoshop tutorial, so um, this is just a really basic thing, and I'm not a Photoshop pro, so if I can do it, you can too. Now go on image, image rotation, and 90 degrees clockwise. Just CTRL F three times this time. CTRL F as we still have the from the right effect selected. Now filter stylize wind and from the right. And remember this layer has to be selected. If not redo all of it. And if you do any mistakes or make any mistakes, I'll click edit and then undo wind or step backward. And uh, the hotkey is CTRL Z and Alt CTRL Z. Okay, so image, image rotation, 90 degrees counterclockwise. And now it's as it should be. And uh, now we're going to right click this and blending options. This is basically, uh, this is also how we apply the metallic aqua color thing. So what we're going to do is just take color overlay and set it to red. That way, uh, okay, now I'm going to explain how this happened. Okay, so this bottom layer was basically um, the FF one FF comp help text with uh, the color red. We just applied the color red, and it was blown by the wind. And because this one was white, and above it, it still has the effect. See, if I move this up, it's all red. And uh, just CTRL Z to go back. And uh, now click the FF Comp Help copy and blending options 
Okay, now we're going to apply this aqua color. Okay, so just click draw, uh, check drop shadow. This is going to make a little black drop shadow and inner shadow is going to do that. It's as if you cut the stroke away and you just pushed it down all the letters. I like that effect. Check outer glow if you want. Nah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's keep. Then the uh, inner glow and we the uh, then satin color overlay uh, we'll take blue this time this is going to be for the aqua effect and because of satin we had this little dark shade shape inside of it then the gradient overlay can't really see that pattern overlay not really stroke black this is going to do that you can really see the the outside of it I really like this effect and uh, it's really basic and you can learn a lot from it um, and then my next Photoshop tutorial is going to be on let's just open notepad for you and um, well this is going to be on about chrome text I will open my chrome text for you to show you what we will be doing in my next uh, Photoshop tutorial uh, let me just find it chrome.psd this is a little boring but uh, I mean black background and all and then we have chrome written uh, fit on screen or something just zoom in a bit fit on screen so this is going to make a little metallic shape and uh, some strokes inside of it uh, I'll show you how to apply that to any text and uh, yeah thanks for watching this video was made by FF Compop. please support me by subscri subscribing to my channel and uh, if any video interests you, interests you as well well that just encourages you to do it even more and uh, please check out my partner's channel AlexLA09 and uh, my contest winner Badass Tutorials with a double Z, not S. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, please comment and rate and subscribe. Bye.